What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, here, head of Community Four out of the Park Development. So we are back with part ten of the Chicago Hope franchise. Uh, we are the Chicago White Sox. It's currently 2021, uh, May 21st to be exact. We're 24 and 22. About to dive into the first year player draft in about a week or two uh, in game time time. Uh, but hey, if you uh, haven't been playing along at home. Uh, two big things for you right now. Uh, starting up this week on uh, twitch.tv slash MLB Network, uh, they're going to be doing Dream Bracket 2.0, uh, featuring the best years of teams. Uh, I think they're all post-World War II, uh, except for a few Negro League teams that we've added in there. 64-team uh, tournament. You're definitely going to want to check that out. That's on Thursday. They're going to be starting uh, some streams. Twitch.tv slash MLB Network. I think the... I think there's a three and a three thirty uh, matchup, and then I think on that's on Thursday and Friday, uh, three p.m. Eastern time. Check those out in the Twitch panels below the video. Uh, you will see uh, the link for all that. MLB.com/slash/dreambracket. That's where you can go uh, get some more information about the tournament, the rosters for all the teams, uh, the schedules, all that good stuff. You can participate to win some stuff uh, over there on MLB.com. So definitely head over there and check that out. I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, Chris probably set up a thing by spell Dream Bracket, correct? Yeah, right there. Uh, Dream Bracket returns with the 64 Dream Season Edition. 64 of the greatest single season teams of all time complete in this, compete in a simulated tournament. See who's best is best. So again, MLB.com slash Dream Bracket. Uh, I think you could do one word or put a hyphen in there. Uh, either way, if that'll get you over there. Also, to celebrate that, Out of the Park Baseball 21 is currently 25% uh, off. So definitely head over to ootpdevelopments.com uh, or Steam or the Mac App Store uh, and pick up your copy of the game if you don't have it already. So highly recommend doing that. And uh, I guess with all that said, let's uh, let's dive into the game. Also, uh, stream notes, I guess Alex and uh, Rich will be on uh, 10 p.m. Eastern tonight. So we got an hour uh, to do some stuff on my head, you see the uh, Canapolis Cannonballers hat. Also, there are single A teams, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, doing my hat a day in May project. Uh, all minor league hats this year just made it to 61, so I'm pumped. And uh, it just so happened that a Chicago Hope Stream Tuesday lined up with the day I was wearing my Cannonballers hat. Coincidence? I think not. All right, so. Let's see where we are. Again, we're 24 and 22 currently. May 21st. Uh, some of our goals are play 500 ball this season. We're currently beating that. As we said, two games over. Upgraded shortstop this season. Danny Mendix only got a 232, 306, 396, triple slash, and 164 at bats. Something we were looking at last stream uh, was swapping him out for Tyler Freeman, who's uh, currently one of our minor leaguers. Uh, here you can see in double in AAA right now, he's hitting 259. 333, 354, so questionable if we want to do that. I think we might, just to be safe. Uh, but then we also have prospects in um, Andrew Vaughn and Nolan Jones uh, that are third base products that we could call up. Uh, sorry, products, prospects that we can call up. Only problem is we don't really have a spot for them. Uh, Yoran Mankata's got third base locked down right now, and he can't really play. I don't think he can play anywhere else. Maybe an outfield spot? Play a little bit of second, but second base we're good with uh, uh, with Nick Madrigal there right now. So, let's figure something out here to do if we're going to end up sending Benny Mendick down. No more Mazzara struggling, uh, which is good. Did we give him his extension? We did give him the extension. We didn't end up paying a ton for the extension, so I don't hate the struggle that much, but... Uh, all right. Zach Collins also struggling. You may remember... Um, Last offseason, we traded him. Uh, no, we traded Yasmani Grandal uh, to the north side of Chicago for Anthony Rizzo. So that's where we got Anthony Rizzo from. He's been playing very well. I think we also gave him an extension, too. Uh, yeah, we gave him a four year extension after this, uh, or three plus a player option. So good there. Uh, also, getting Rizzo was our acquire an all star for next year. They wanted us to sign J.D. Martinez to an extension. Uh, we traded for him last year. I forget what that trade was, but 
this price was not worth keeping. Uh, increase our attendance, attendance is going up, so we're doing good there. Uh, also, you can see here uh, Memphis Kings, a new team in the league. So, got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, two new teams, Memphis Kings and San Antonio Chaparrals. So, stuff's happening. Stuff is happening. Let's double check our injured list. Colome is hurt for another five weeks. Dunning's out for another five weeks. Bummer just got called up with the Dunning injury, I believe. Or no, with the Colome injury. Christian Frederick's ready to come back, but he's still got some uh, DL time. Hamilton might have to go on the DL. Okay, so right now, 13-13, we're good. Everything. The way we want it set up. Keone not doing so great in the closer role. Four saves, but a 14-4 ERA. Not feeling super great about that. Uh, Dylan Bundy, who we picked up as just a kind of a flyer free agent in the offseason, has been pitching great. Dylan Sees, also pitching great for us. Uh, Lucas Giolito, pitching pretty good to a 3.31 ERA. Logan Allen, who was one of those young guys that we gave a spot, he's been pitching good. Uh, Rodon's pitching all right. We have sent someone down. Seth Beer, how you doing? Seth Beer's playing pretty good. He might be getting a spot. He might be getting a call soon. Uh, Quantrill struggled a little bit. We sent it. Uh, last year, so we sent him back down. Back police sex. We got a lot of we got a lot of options here. Uh, if anybody else goes down, so we have things that we can do. Again, we've got the draft coming up in just a couple of days. We should probably go and take a look at some of our player development. Where are we? Seemingly weak. Looks like we have a lot of guys coming up. Obviously, we have a lot of pitchers coming up. Catcher, we're kind of okay at right now because we have Collins and a couple other guys that are pretty good. Third base, again, stacked. Uh, shortstop's pretty good. First base is looking like the real question, but we do have Jose Abreu right now and Anthony Rizzo. I think Abreu becomes a free agent after this season? After next season. So we'll have to figure that out next. We're actually like... Fairly decent, fairly decently set up. So, I think there's always something that can help. Center field, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly worried about uh, Luis Robert, who's playing much better this season, but really stunk it up last season. Last season hit 211. This season he's in 315, which I'm very excited about. Uh, I'm getting, he's destroyed the numbers he was putting up last year and even playing better than he was in AAA the season before. So, pretty happy with Robert right now. Semi-worried if there's some regression. We're going to have a, a little bit of a problem, but... Uh, and pitching is always is something that we want to upgrade on. So, what do we got up here? All-star voting. That. Kind of get out to the first-year player draft and uh, see what we can do. See if we can make some... Make some moves and get something going. We're four games back, or three games back. Our whole division is is all bunched up, except for the Royals kind of falling back a little bit. Five-game home run streak for Eloy Jimenez. Eloy's playing very good out in left field. Frederick's ready to come off the DL. Magical just tore his groin. That's not great. We're going to have to do all this. Put him on the DL. Put him on the 10-day. Evers are good. Uh, so I guess what we're going to have to do here is... Okay, so Freeman can come up. He can play second or short. Maybe we just slot him into that second base position where he's very similar to what Madrigal does. Um, Vaughn's playing good in double A, but he really can't play anywhere. Kind of the problem with him, right? Now. Mm hmm. Nolan Jones can only, only has third base stuff right now. All right, I think it's time for 
think we're going to take the handcuffs off Tyler Freeman. Him anywhere. We want him to play a short to build up his shortstop uh, credibility. Pull him up. Oh, he's not on the 40, man. Who is he? If they're on the 40. Forbes. I have no idea. Oh, was this guy one of the guys that we recently traded for? Drafted by the Rangers. Damn how did we... Did we just sign him? Don't remember how we got that guy. Okay, this is our backup catcher. The... We even DFA him. Then we're going to bring up Freeman. Enable our AI promotion. We're going to call him up. I thought we had... We're definitely going to take a look at our 40 man. Into this. Later into this. The lineup overview. We think for Khan. Rakan wants Freeman playing short and Mendick playing second. I can live with that. Anybody else being a problem? Norms are obviously a problem. Zach Collins, a problem. Everybody else actually pretty well off. Even Zach Collins, because he's a catcher, his, his average isn't really hurting him, at least war wise. No more Mazzara, obviously the problem right now. Norm runs 24 RBIs. Day to day with the ribcage issue. But seems to be anything wrong with Mazzara. Unhappy with his performance, but I would be unhappy with my performance as well if I was hitting a buck eighty nine. That's just me personally. Okay, I think. So. Eloy, Robert, Mazzara, Hada, Freeman, Mendick, Zach Collins. I hope Danny Mendick plays good, because if he doesn't, when Madrigal comes back, uh, I think Mendick's going to have to And we still have to deal with um, Christian Frederick. For about three months in May, they figure June, July, and August he's gone. So it's kind of like a, a late August pickup. Pickup. Uh, if you're not hitting, if you're hitting 274 or lower, you're not good enough. I feel like you can drop that even lower depending on their on base percentage. Like if you're hitting 250, but you're getting on base like 370, I can, I can, I can deal. Uh, but yeah, if you're doing something like Mazzara's doing, where I think right now he's got 259, 259 is painful. Like, one of the things I actually do in, usually a perfect team, just to do, like, a quick look at my team, uh, I'll sort by war, see who's really bad, probably knock them out if I can. But then usually the thing I'll sort by is uh, on base percentage. So, like, Tyler Freeman, he just started to a zero. Brugman's a bench player, and I think he's gonna be, he's more, he's more kind of a defensive uh, guy, so I'm not really worried about his on base percentage. Like, Nomar, that's painful. 305, 308, or 303, 308, 311. I don't, these all hurt to, hurt me to see. Uh, I want to see him in the 340s and above. You know, 313, 404, 459, or 494. Uh, 313, 404, 594. Love it. Love it. Rizzo, 278, 
373, 517, love it. 319, 371, 610, love it. These four, loving. I think we should give Jason Martin some more playing time. Left field at Eli. Uh, then again, we need to... Jury. Frederick is able to come back. There's a there's a bit of me that wants to take the closer job away from uh Kella. Kella. Yay. So we saved the last two. If he doesn't figure it out. By mid June, I think we gotta take him out. Give him a couple more couple more opportunities. Then we gotta go with the game. Uh but someone does have to go. For the time being, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna send Frederick on a rehab assignment. Get to this first year player draft. So the first year player draft now if we can get Shortstop or second baseman. Have an RBI game for Eli Jimenez. Let's go. Mariners want to give me D. Jordan. Playing really good in. Wait, I have D. Gordon? This is what happens when you let your uh, coaches do your minor league stuff? I did not know we had D. Gordon. I think I knew. He's playing. Okay. Very good. Again, I he's got the avoid case. Maybe D. Gordon was a guy we should have brought up to play second base a little bit. Playing very well. He's three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hits in his last five games. Very good. Hmm. I feel like I can get Better than this guy. I'm going to reject this. But at the same time, I want to shop D. Gordon. He's playing that good. Maybe. Maybe we can get something for him. Let's see what we can do here. If there's a deal out there to be had. Let's make it. Buck Farmer. Love him. Do we go get Greg Bird? Do we go make the power move and get Greg Bird? Dansby Swanson, huh? I don't love the 238 average, but... Clubhouse leader. Never shows the lack of effort. Well respected. While he's not hitting great? He hasn't played a lot this season. Is getting on base at a 429 clip, so that's good. Now, I love my Braves. He's making 4 million. We can afford that. I like the idea. Also, Xander Bogart's playing well. Is contract like? I mean, we're doing a power move right now if we're going for Xander Bogarts. Also, if Xander Bogarts doesn't play well for us, then he's going to definitely pick up the option. We are going to be stuck with him. Which does not seem to be a good idea. You say Kikuchi. I say Kikuchi. I don't know if you hear my son screaming in the background. It is a tub time. Not. Not throw. Memphis Kings. Memphis Kings took Will Myers. Kings. Dansby's a small. 
Just four million for this season. I like the Xander idea, but that's just too much of a risk. Similar to Mendek, offensively, a little bit better against lefties than him. Defensively, he's going to blow him up all. Tyler Fleming plays a phenomenal defense. I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to do this. The thing is, we would have to make some 40 man move. I think it would come off the 40 man. Heath would come off the 40, man. Cuthbert would probably get really... Durable. Durable. See what, what kind of prospects they could. Give me Langoliers. What's it going to take? None of that's going to happen. Give me... You know, let me look at the 40, man. Who's are going to release? Who are release possibilities? We've rated out Pilkington, and he's not looking great. A good defensive second baseman. Huh? Not worth keeping Heath. Also, he's got speed and can play some defense. He's really worth keeping. And get Shoemake. Give me Bryce Ball. We can get Shoemaker and Bryce Ball. What's to make this work? Anybody? How do you feel about that? Let's get to the draft. That was a lot of stream stuff that's popped off. Ah, he has Monty Grandal out for three weeks. That's why we traded him.
by resubmitting it like that. All we did was change the uh, takeaway though. Also just trying to get to the first year player draft here, folks. Just trying to get there. Christian Posh has 20 stolen bases. Acuna's got 13 right behind him. Allen doing good. Bummer is a bummer. Eloy tearing it up. Eloy, yeah. Jesus Christ. Edward Olivares, I like you as well. You were struggling before, but... Almost there. Almost there. German, you want to go on the AAA? Sir. Thank you kindly. Still waiting to hear back from the Braves. For five games back, a game under 500. Can't have the cash right. That Acuna deal out quite well for them. Got Jabari Blash. Let's go. Good, good in the Pacific Coast League. 29 home runs, 20 team. We take off ball, they'll do it, right? See what happened. Trying to be here for you. Brave GM at Dopolis. Need you to work with me just a little bit. A little bit. Eloy the 20 game hitting three. Eloy is like really, really. That's kind of a beast. Can we sneak this? Can we sneak this guy somewhere? Bobby Jones, Bobby Adams. Ooh. Mock draft here. Got some speed, can play defense. A pull ground ball hitter. Again, another guy that can play all over the place. I kind of like that. Campbell. Joey Price could have the curve in the chain. I worry about that change up. It's out of one. Kind of terrifies me. Greg Presley. They're one of these high avoid K's, low discipline guys. That can sacrifice bunt, like you read about. Okay. Anything else in the mail that we need to take a look at?
Our trade, we did submit that trade, right? Yeah. He makes looks pretty good. I don't know. Look, he's able to play at a high level. And in 13 games, three starts last year, he did just that. That would even make us uh, consider Nick Madrigal's future. Or possibly move to short. All right. Draft. First year player draft. Yep, yep. All right, we are the 27th pick. Bunch of comp picks. Oh, and San Antonio and the Chaparral. Get to our pick. Who's gone? Bobby Adams, Campbell. Pretty much the. Great slider. All right, scouting director, what are you saying? Sean Cantor, that's the guy we're looking at before. Kind of do it all. Speedy defense. Where's the big pot? Big pot. Not a whole bunch, except for a guy named Yawn. Where's gonna happen? Really looking at? Button power pots. I could play everywhere. I'm out of high school. Who's that? Josh Bolt. You're also again corner outfield. The like corner outfields were like very stuck. On Cantor can play everywhere. Second, third, outfield, and he's got the speed and outfield range. I think we gotta gotta trust our scouting director. Scouting director wants us to take Luke Davis. Right. Which hitting catcher? Catch a little bit. Not so great on the offensive side, though. for pitching. Lefty out of the bullpen. We'll play some right field. Got a good eye. Hit righties a little bit. Got that speed. Give Mason. Kind of from Georgia Tech. 
these. Grab him. Scouting director still likes Luke Davis. He's still there. So why would we? Why are we gonna try to waste all this? Waste these great picks on him. Jim Graham, all good. You're out of high school. Terrible. Strictly bullpen because he's got no changeup. Power pitcher. Team ground ball power pitcher. Easy son. Davis still there? Guy's got some bop, can only play for base, don't really. Great pitcher. You can hit a little bit. Power though. If you're not destroying the teams that you're forward to having here, power potential. Hey, Becker. Also play. Got that sick glove. Tim Rock. Rock Bubba Rock. Rock's like it. Big Jim Rock. I believe in us. I believe in us. Easy draft him. What's going on, Alex? Trying to get some draft picks here. My picture. Show me a potato salad. Jim Miller. Juco out of Gainesville. Pitch mix. Not loving the. Danny Philpot. Fastball slider, and he's got some pop. They keep drafting uh, two-way players. They got a second base. Andy Garrison? Mr. Garrison? Got a lot of these guys. Got a shortstop. Bagley? The Bagman, Isaac Bagley? We in here? Toilet. I know you want to Kim. Got this guy, Sean Cantor. I think he's gonna be all right. He's got speed. He's gonna get on base. Nothing to write home about. Outside of the top couple picks, there was. This guy looks kind of nasty out of the bullpen. Don't. But lefty, first Ched, 
and can hit a little bit. Good eye, good speed, feeling bases. We might have to use him as a, a pinch runner. Josh Jackson, obviously, strictly bullpen kind of guy. If you can pinch and pitch and pinch run. I'll take you. Bo Bonds. Bo Bonds, Florida. Gonna do. You got this computer. I believe in you. And you can pick up a bullpen arm that also could be a pinch runner. I feel like. This guy looks pretty nasty. I hate him. I had him rated even higher. Can play everywhere. He's got speed, defense, everything. This guy has it all and durable. Bobby A. That was good too. Yeah, another speed, defense, but can do do pretty much everything. Bunch of JUCO, um, a bunch of JUCO guys in this draft too. Right. He demands too many. Yeah, we can just match all these, meet all these demands. We will probably get these high school guys. Mm -hmm. Nobody's got a crazy demand, so. Like, yeah, it's higher than their slot, but. That's why the thing is, like, I'm always. That's why I always just do draft. I never do the, like, meet slot or whatever. I'd rather take it off, take it over to this screen and just see what their actual demands are. Because if I just saved $3.4 million, I'm happy. If I just saved another million dollars a year, you know, this guy was, this guy met, got the slot. This guy was 70 K over, but I saved $4 million on the other guys. So getting a, a half mil and another 70 K over like that's not a big pool. Uh, all right, so where are we? June 4th, 28 and 31 is not great. Seven games back. Again, still, this whole division all kind of clumped together. Seven games back, but you're in fourth. Even look at the NL Central. The last place is six games back. Both Central's just getting crazy. Maybe maybe because of the addition of the extra team? Would that be part of it? Both extra teams. Playing fairly good, too. We haven't started using streaming yet, have we? I'm not playing well. Luis Robert, Alex, I don't know if you saw Luis Robert playing phenomenal now. So is Jan Mankata. Very happy. Very happy. And Eloy. What did the A's do? Let's go take a look at the A's. Didn't the A's sign a bunch of guys in the offseason? The A's squad is now. Oriano, Carlos Tucci, uh, Matt Olson, Mark Canna. They didn't do anything to their office, huh? offense, huh? Ricardo, Anthony Desclafani. Their offense is just putting up numbers. That's what's happening. Chris Davis, 15 bombs, 19 for Olsen. kana has got 14, 12 for Chapman, 14 for Loreano. He's just azing. The Dodgers did a lot, if I remember correctly. That's Muncie Bellinger, Lux Smith, Peterson. And they signed a whole bunch of guys. Ryan Presley, Kirby Yates, Alex Wood, Chris Archer. Chris Archer is pitching it. For him, 
Chris Archer, 32 years old. Brewster. Pitching good. Got a lot of guys just doing a lot of, a lot of good stuff. Braves do anything? They brought Posh up. Braves just being themselves. They won the World Series in 2020, apparently. Keep going. Uh, are you guys gonna be good for? Uh, are you guys gonna be good for ten for the next stream? Personal. Just give me him. Are you? I already given to giving you a guy. At the point where I don't even want to do this deal anymore. We have uh, D Gordon in the minor leagues. He's still tearing it up down there. But we did just go 0 for 5. That was the time to hear it. Me Dansby, let's call it even. Give me two key, let's call it even. See it. I'm not giving you a little. Even want him. Done. We're done. I don't want. I don't want Dansby. Love you. Don't want him. They got too many middle of infielders. So they can be stuck with this four million. Six games back, thirty and thirty-one, tied with the Twins. And caught a third in the league for uh, batting. Go and see. He's pitching great. Two eighty ERA. Three guys hitting over three hundred. Love it. Three guys with 18 or more home runs. Guys are excited. Signed our picks. Jones John playing good. Juan playing good. So far, everything good. Everything's working there. This beard is looking illustrious if you look at it right now. I don't know if you can see. Some gray is, but I feel like that just adds adds to its character. Currently does not smell like pine tar. That's more of a, a day kind of thing. Put the pine tar bomb in. If we can if we can get through June. I got, that, I got that strong George Clooney going on right now. Even the hair, but really good. Four and five, a little. The beard. I thought about dyeing the beard. Like this is this whole. This is just like a big chunk of white. Like I'm Dame drops. Good feels good. Smells good. Bigly in. Go, Dunning, setback. Now it'll be at least four months to go surgery tomorrow. That 
speaking of silver, actually kind of a silver lining for us. Because four months, it's June, July, August, October. He's done. We're going to put him on the 60 day DL. Free up that 40 man. We're tied on the 40 man right now. Big change. Told you it was make or break time for you. So, save. Two saves, three saves on a win. They're turning it around. I know ERA is a tough thing. The problem with closers, like one bad adding and all of your stats are screwed up. So it's like real hard to. I don't cheer. Two. One saves, a lot of losses. I don't think we can trust him as closer anymore. That's just a lot of runs given up. He had 20 earned runs in 24 games. That can't be our closer. That cannot be our closer. Uh... Fifteen and runs in there. I don't want to give it to Hamilton. I feel like I still have a little bit more trust in him than uh guys. Not gonna be striking out a tuple. I mean, not gonna be striking out a ton, but I don't think Han is going to make the move. Han's not going to make the move. And I set him to be the closer. Okay. Do that. We're going to make Ian Hamilton the closer. That's turn 26. Happy birthday to Ian Hamilton in the game. Where I think we're good there. What's the Rodon's contract looking like? Got a couple more, a couple more years, but again, it's six and a half million. Running out, a five hundred being a five hundred pitcher, I don't hate it. Pretty good. We got three lefties in the pen, which is kind of crazy, but yeah. Fifteen, thirteen, good here. Good with your lineup. Makata at third, Rizzo at first, Eloy, Robert. Robert was hitting, like, last last season. And now he's in the five spot, or the four spot versus lefties. Props to Robert. Props to him. Oh, we got Mendick playing second base. Not playing great. Tyler Freeman's our leadoff guy. 218-283. Don't love that. Mendick's getting on base more than that column. Kind of a... Crash can on fire behind the plate. But Martin can't play anywhere. That seems way too good to be playing on the not. Eli's got to be in left. Jason Morton. Actually. not a split thing either. Okay, he's just... 
Spider-Man right. It's going to be a defensive liability to start with, but... I think we got to do it. I think we got to do it. Because... Uh, is there a keyboard trick? I have to jump back a page. Alex, is there? Is delete? Let's delete right back. If you have a mouse with a back button on it, that will take you back. A keyboard shortcut. Alex, is there any keyboard shortcut? Alex would know. Off the top. Jamfin Martin, the chance in a right. See how that works out. Vlad Jr. hitting 368. What? We were just talking about that like last, like, like a couple weeks ago. So, what's the situation that we're in? That could have been three months ago that we were talking about back buttons. Mm -hmm. Rocks, everybody. We'll be Allard throwing Dukes. If there's not a keyboard shortcut, we shouldn't. Yeah, and mouse with the back button is out. Of course, we give Hamilton the job, and then he gets put up. But we're a game back, so we're doing good now. Things are happening. I don't know why sometimes I think you can see my mouse and sometimes you can't. Which... For Bear a little banged up. With him banged up. But for Bear's banged up, I want to take this off of him. Or put him in center for a Don't let me forget to change that back. Yeah, backspace is not. That was what I thought. Cause I, I... I knew we had backspace at some point. Elito, second in the league in strikeouts. Eloy, 20 game hitting streak, led the league. Lome, eligible to come. Stiffness. Warm stiffness. Now that bothers me. Put him on the DL. Call up Colon. Good thing I didn't bring Frederick up for his UCL. Out 11 months. So we'll also move him. 60 days. Okay, hopefully that 10 games down cleared his head.
got here? What do we got here? Rizzo's third for first baseman. Cotta's third for third baseman. Eloy second for hitters. Sure. Hey, where's my man Dylan Seas? Why is he not in there for the starters? Be the starter role. You ask me personally. Five games back. We're going to need to win the division if we're going to need to get out of here because... Oh, no, actually, we are in the wild card hunt. We're in the wild card hunt right now. Very happy with our record. Thanks for bringing up Tyler Freeman. You can already see improvement. Katie Martinez, we know that's a problem. Grim. Frank Minichino. I'm just playing a little better. That Bobby Adams kid became an one prospect. Wilmer Font. Red Series will be up in just a few minutes with Rich and Alex. They're uh, wrapping up getting set up. So, Alex, tell me when you guys are good. There should be good... I think you're going to take it off Zach Collins. Give Roberto Perez a shot. What the... He wants Perez catching. Catching. Center. Good with us. Your list we still got to look at. Ethan, Rust. Yep. Right, all right. Bacchus, 26 jacks. Thames, 26 jacks. That can't take time, okay? Take your time. Take it. Take a little more time, baby. Oh, okay. Frederick, not looking great. Auto going up. I like that. Where's going up? Tyler Freeman going up. Bear going up. Love it. Love it. Eloy going up. Oh my, going up. Gavin Sheets. Gilbert Sanchez going up, which means people are going to start calling about him. Might have to get the nod soon. Might have to get another one that's going to get the nod soon, I think. Here, the speed from 14 to 13. <clears> Through <throat> Kittridge. We're all set. Excellent, excellent, excellent. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Save early, save often. As I uh, thank you for watching. We're going to have the uh, the big rich machine with Rich and Alex coming up in just a minute. Uh, some more scheduling stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's up yet. Twitch.tv slash OTP development slash schedule uh, is going to have our full schedule up there. We got streams for you, I think, every day. Every day. Pretty sure we got something every day for you. Uh, Mondays is uh, the This Week in Perfect Team uh, tournament stuff. Tuesdays, Chicago Hope at 9, and then the Big Rich Machine at 10. Wednesdays, we got Franchise Hockey Manager 6 with Adam and Jeff at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Thursdays, you got This Week in Perfect Team, uh, as well as the Perfect Team Playoff Push. This Week in Perfect Team is with Chris and when all the new content drops. Uh, and Perfect Team Playoff Push is with Rich. Uh, Friday, Gus and Rich take over the Mets. Gus Ramsey uh, from the Dan Patrick School of Broadcasting at Full Sail University. Definitely check that out on Fridays. Saturdays, sci uh, Science Saturdays with Alex. Uh, and Sunday this week in Perfect Team Prep uh, with Chris. Lots of stuff. But again, this week, uh, Thursday and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to ask you to go over to our buddies, twitch.tv slash MLB Network. They're going to be starting up Dream Bracket 2.0. So you definitely want to check that out. MLB.com slash dream bracket. I think you can do it as one word or with dream hyphen bracket. Either way, get over to MLB.com. Check that out. Uh, 64 team tournament of the best seasons uh, of teams post-World War II. Uh, as well as a couple of Negro League teams added into that tournament for fun. Uh, but yeah, heck of a lot of fun. Check out all that stuff. So if you're not following already here on Twitch.tv slash OOTP developments, hit that follow button. Turn on your notifications. You get messaged every night when we go live. Uh, that's it. Hit us up on Twitter at OTP Baseball, at OTP Perfect Team, Facebook.com slash OTP Baseball. All the stuff under the video in the Twitch panel. All of our social media stuff is linked there. All the games are linked there. 25% off out of the park, Baseball 21. Get over there and go do it now. Thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it. Rich and Alex coming up next with Big Rich Machine. Take it easy, folks. <laughs>